Now to a big boost for England's men. Vice-captain Ollie Pope is hopeful Moeen Ali will be fit and ready to go for the second Ashes test at Lords. Ali was a doubt after a cut to his right index finger meant he struggled to bowl at Edgbaston. Moeen's finger had been a huge cause for concern for England. He spent a lot of time looking at that finger and testing it out with the ball in hand before applying a little bit of spray. Ali spent some time sat down watching the session before eventually getting up to have a bowl himself in the nets. Didn't look like he was in any discomfort as he released the ball on that occasion. Well, Leicestershire's Rayan Ahmed could take his place if he's not fit to play. Uh, Ahmed marked his test debut with seven wickets against Pakistan in Karachi last winter. England have another dilemma in the bowling department. They need to decide whether Mark Wood should be drafted into the squad. Wood gives England an extra dimension with his express pace. But who would he replace? Well, it could be that James Anderson's place is at risk. He struggled at Edgbaston, but he's got a decent record at Lords, having taken 117 wickets at an average of 24. England captain Ben Stokes says the squad won't change their approach and intend to go harder at Australia in the second test, which has the makings of another highly entertaining, entertaining test. And in the last few moments, another positive sign for England is that Moeen, after having a bowl, is having a bat as well. Yeah, I think Mo's all good. Um, that was pretty unfortunate what happened, and I think hopefully over these few days it's sort of looked after itself and, yeah, hopefully he's uh, fit, fit to play. How important is a specialist spinner here? Is it essential? Uh, to be honest, it depends what the wicket looks like. I think sometimes, um, I think Lords, we know, can be bowler-friendly sometimes, but we, we've seen the role that over the last year, Leachy's played on bowler-friendly conditions as well. So I think it's, it's a great option to have. Well, England's Ollie Robinson has become a pantomime villain amongst the Australian press following his expletive-laden send-off to Usman Khawar during the first test. Pope feels the extra attention hasn't affected his confidence going into Lords. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Um, I think Robinson's, he's, Ollie's a, the kind of guy, he, he gets in the battle. And sometimes, I think in a big series like this, emotions almost take over while you're on the pitch. But he's a top guy. And I don't think there's sort of, I think obviously in the Nashes series, these things are really brought to, brought to light. Um, but I think in the heat at the moment, obviously, he, he was pumped up to get that wicket. And uh, it's nothing... It's nothing sort of personal uh, in, in the way that he's gone about it. But, yeah, and that's just the way he, he plays his cricket. Do you think he'll rein it in a little bit? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not, I've not asked him. Um, but I think, again, if he can get on a good run and hopefully he can celebrate in the, in the way he, sort of he, wants to, he wants to celebrate. But he's just going to go about his business the, the way he does. And he's a, he's a high-quality bowler. So hopefully he can sort of let, let the ball to do all the talking. Yeah, because there's a danger you put a target on your back, isn't there, when, when you do something like that? Yeah, of course there is. Um, and I think, like, like we said, in an Ashes series where... A lot of a lot of players are sort of commentating on the game and and yeah it's easily done and this probably is in kind of a new experience for us with home ashes um, but no he's uh, he's in a, he's in a good space he's bowling really well as well so hopefully he can sort of keep keep delivering his uh, his good skills. I, I guess you're not that forgettable a cricketer if Matthew Hayden and Ricky Ponting and Michael Clark are talking about you. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly I mean maybe he sees it as a compliment but no they're obviously they're legends of the game um, they're entitled to their, their their own opinion as well and I, I don't know Rob, Robbo he's he, he's in good spirits this week. Um, and hopefully, yeah, like I said, hopefully he can just come out and deliver with the ball. So the second test gets underway on Wednesday from Lords, live on Sky Sports Cricket from 10.